everybody's going to die, but uh, it's just when you're going to die that matters. And so extending people's lives is usually the goal in most newer cancer therapies. The technologies that can detect cancer earlier will obviously improve patients' lives because it's very well known if you can detect cancer or treat cancer early on, that patient has a higher chance of survival. If it's successful, obviously it's going to lengthen a person's life. More often than not, it's actually just improving their quality of life. Today, cancer imaging is mostly about imaging how big a tumor is and how chaotic the blood vessel structure is through contrast imaging. Our particular focus here at Dartmouth is on optical techniques. So we build optical systems like cameras, lenses, spectroscopy devices into CT scanners, ultrasound, MRI. So our particular niche, which is very different than most places, is optical systems. Our lab is big. That's the first thing. We have 20 plus people in the lab, tumor biologists, optical engineers, um, software people, optical uh, designers, uh, so it's a, it's, and, and medical physics people. We work as a team and the main thing is it's teamwork, it's engineering, it's physics, it's tumor biology, it's the chemistry of tracers all mixed together. Through Thayer, uh, we, again, the resources are, are numerous. We can build stuff, the machine, we get students into the machine shop, building things, uh, machining up parts, we buy most of what we need. We assemble unique devices and, and write the software. So that, that resource is tremendous. Uh, at the medical center, we have access to animal research and human patients, and that's very unique. You know, to go all the way from building something where nothing existed, to animal studies, to human studies, and then actually see it have an impact in humans is, is huge. I mean, the long-term impact is, is pretty clear. We're making technologies that will be picked up by companies and making an impact in cancer patients' lives.